And now let's take some practice questions from former WAEC exams. Now this question is from WAEC 2021 SC, simply means school candidates. So it's the year I wrote my WAEC. So the question goes thus, the scale of the map in representative fraction is, now looking at the map we're given, we can see that just above the key and under the map, the map scale we are given is in what? This is a linear graph. So they want us to convert a linear graph to a representative fraction. That's simply what they are saying. So now, in an exam, the first thing I do once I see this question is to take out my ruler and to measure. I should not assume. So after measuring, I find out that the distance between them is one centimeter. And just focusing on the numbers after the zero. So if this antonym is one centimeter, I now decide to look at the interval between the numbers and it's going for in terms of two, zero, two, four, six, eight, ten. So this is a map of one centimeter to two kilometers. So now that we've established that the linear scale reads one centimeter to two kilometers, we need to convert it to representative fraction as the question asks. So recall one kilometer is equal to 100,000 100, centimeters. And therefore, two kilometers will be 200,000 centimeters. So somebody could easily pick out the answer from this point. One centimeter to 200,000 centimeters, the units cancel out. And so in representative fraction, that will give us one ratio 200,000. And that is option A. Now let's take the next question. Still from work 2021, number two. What is the approximate distance between the settlement of Dambo and Hume by road. And since this question is still based on our previous map, so the scale still remains one centimeter to two kilometers. That is one which is 200,000 as we calculated. So now, firstly, we need to identify the settlements. So let's zoom in and do that. This is Dambo, and then this is Hume. Forgive my pronunciation. And now that we've identified the two settlements, the next thing to do is to connect them by drawing two cardinal points. So as you can see, I've drawn my two cardinal points and I've drawn a straight line, this blue line, to connect them. So now all that's left to do is measuring, measure the distance. And by doing so, we get 9.1 centimeters. But mind you, 9.1 centimeters is not the final answer. Please don't make this mistake and fall into the trap set of the examiners. Cause for, because for some reason, students always be students. In the process of rushing for the exam, you, you measure, get 9.1 centimeters, approximate it to 10, and for some reason, you pick A, completely ignoring that the two units are different, centimeters and kilometers. And the reason this would be wrong is because what we've gotten or what we've measured is the map distance. But our question is asking us the actual distance because that's the reason why we do map scale. They are everything, any question they're always going to ask you is always going to be referring to the ground distance. Nobody wants to know what you measured on your paper. No, you want to know what the actual thing is on the ground. But since I can't actually take a ruler and go to Dambo settlements and measure it all the way to Hume, there is no even ruler as long as that. That's just a waste of time. So we use the map scale to give us an approximate. So what we get on the map scale, we're going to approximate it and convert it to ground distance. And that's the answer we're going to give them. So since you remember that our scale is one centimeter to two kilometers, let's do a little math. On measuring, we got the distance between Dambo and Hume, road, and Hume by road as 9.1 centimeters. So one centimeter is equal to two kilometers. So 9.1 centimeters will now be nine, equals to 9.1 centimeter times two, giving us 18.2 kilometers. And now this is the actual distance on the ground. So on measuring, we have 9.1 centimeters between them. But after applying our scale, 
The actual distance on the ground is 18.2 kilometers. As we notice, the two centimeters will cancel out, and this our final answer is going to take the units of the map, which is approximately 20 kilometers, and hence we have option C. So we didn't fall into the trap and approximate our map scale to 10 and pick A for a very wrong reason. We went, we followed the right path and got the answer as 20 kilometers, option C. With that, let's move on to the next question. This is still under 2021. Another question that requires us to use our distance of map scale. I'm sure most people might be wondering why, is, why are the questions they're asking not just convert this to this. Even though that is basically map scale, but the questions they ask you are not always that straightforward. They will need you to apply your knowledge. And since this is a continuation from the previous question, our initial map scale of one centimeter to two kilometers still applies. So the distance between Dambo and Ogo, Ogo, you know my pronunciation, please, as the crow flies is approximately. Now, before we start treating this question, I want to explain the meaning of this term as the crow flies. Because before we were asked to calculate the distance between Dambo and Hume by road. So that was just obviously like a straight line. So some people may now be thinking that maybe as the crow flies, are we going to measure it with maybe thread or in a way that is not straight? No. As the crow flies is just a fancy way of saying the distance between two points is a straight line. So when you see as the crow flies, don't be confused, don't panic. You just measure as you did before, putting a two cardinal points on the two settlements and measuring distance between them in a straight line. So now, looking at our map, this is Dambo. And up here is Ogo. And I've drawn the cardinal points and I've put the two straight lines and I've drawn a straight line between them. Now, please, this is a very important part. I may not have mentioned it earlier, but always draw the cardinal points on the two settlements. Don't just connect the two points using your eyes. No, the cardinal point to make your readings a bit more accurate. And now on measuring, we're going to get 8.9 centimeters. So here, I want you guys to pause the video and try to complete this question by yourself and make sure not to fall into the trap. Now, let's try solving this together and see if you got it. Now, remembering that our map scale remains the same, one centimeter to two kilometers. On measuring, we got 8.9 centimeters as our map scale, but we need the actual ground distance. So if one centimeter is equal to two kilometers, then 8.9 centimeter will be equal to 8.9 times two kilometers, giving us 17.8 kilometers as the map distance. And I'm sure most people will be wondering, why do you have to approximate and things like that? Most of the time, the answers between two different people are going to vary based on the locations you put your cardinal points, for instance. And the answers, in the, they are not just going to give you the exact decimal answer in the options. So this is why you have to approximate. So you may get 17.8, somebody could get 18, somebody could get 19, somebody could get 17 point this. So just make sure you put your cardinal points on the settlement and measure. But your answer, will, as long as you did that correctly, your approximate answer will always be the correct one in the options. So 17.8 is approximately 20 kilometers. And I hope this is the answer that you got. So I hope nobody fell into the trap of just stopping at 8.9 centimeters and approximating it and picking 10 kilometers for some strange reason. And it's actually funny how the trap answer is usually there for those who make the mistake of approximating and they would have chosen option B and gone. And meanwhile, they would have missed it. So you may be able to get away with this mistake if the scale of your map is something like one centimeter to one kilometer, since you're only going to be multiplying by a factor of one and the answer will be the same. But in all cases, you may not be so lucky, like in this case. So please don't be quick to assume the answer. Always convert it to map this always convert it to the ground distance with your units in kilometers. Now let's move on to the next question. This is from 2016 WAC. So now let's move on to the next question from 2016 WAC. The scale of the map in statement form is, and you can see that the map, this map scale that we are giving is in linear form. 
So they are simply asking us to convert from a linear map scale to a statement form map scale. And you can see from the options that the statement form is written in the longest form, is written in the one of the longest ways to write it in. It's not just one centimeter to this. They actually wrote the whole thing out in words. So if we decide to zoom in on our map scale, firstly, we measure the distance. Don't assume. We measure the distance, focusing on the parts after the zero. And we can see that the distance between here is just one centimeter. The interval between the numbers, one, the units, kilometers. So from here, we can say that one centimeter to or represent one kilometer. Having established that our linear scale, our linear scale is representing one centimeter to one kilometer. So now let's look for the similar answer in the options and be careful, don't just quickly rush to pick. Make sure you look at the numbers, this, this, and our answer will be A, one centimeter on the map represents one kilometer on the ground. So make sure you look at the options carefully before selecting your answer. Don't just, after interpreting the map scale perfectly, don't rush to pick the wrong answer. Calm down, pick your shading, your correct option, and move on. Now, on to the very last practice question. This is from YAC 2021 PC private candidates, or you may know them as GCE students. So this is under conversion, straightforward question. What is the scale of the map in statement form again? And we have one ratio 50,000. One ratio 50,000. So now we have to be careful because this question is going to be a bit tricky. So remembering the fundamental equation I told you about, one kilometer is always equal to 100,000 centimeters. And then since on the map we were given 50,000 centimeters, so we have to convert that to kilometers. So some of you may already see the answer now. 50,000 centimeters will be equal to 0 0.5 kilometers or half a kilometer. So if one kilometer is equal to 100,000 centimeters, that means 50,000 centimeters will be equal to half of a kilometer. And looking at the map, we can see that this is option D. And therefore, we can then say that one ratio 50,000 is equal to one centimeter to half, a, half of a kilometer. And on the map, we can see that as option D, one centimeter on the map, represent half a kilometer on the ground. And with that, we come to the end of the practice questions. So you can still go through your um, geography past questions and look, and look for different years and practice based, different questions on map skill. If you check your objectives, the first 10 questions, just look through them. You're likely going to see some questions on either conversion or some application questions like we did before, the distance between, and make, and make sure not to, don't forget that at crow, as the crow flies, means moving a straight line. And with that, we come to the end of the map scale video. When looking through your past questions, those of you that are observants will see that in your practical, in the practical aspects of your questions, there is no, nobody's asking you any questions on converting this scale to this or even the application of the questions, no. You only see that in your objectives, the first 10 questions involving your given map. Instead, what you are going to see in your practicals is increase the scale of the map or reduce the scale of the map. And this is going to take us to the next video on map reduction and enlargements. So please stay tuned. And if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe and share to your friends. Thank you.